like a stationary bike. But there's literally thousands of minnows. Rock. Oh, that's really cool. That's so freaking cool. Oh! Yeah. It's pretty cool, aren't they? That's so cool. Salsa sand chips. That's cool. How purple that is. Oh, man. Brace yourself. Don't get a hemorrhoid. I didn't go nowhere. There she comes. Picking a crack. Found some. Picking a crack. Hey! <laughs> Howdy folks, right here, River been Longwood Outdoors. Today we're gonna hit the river. Daughter's got the day off. Last days of summer, so we got the kayaks on. We're heading out. Might be fun, might be a disaster. There's something banging on the roof, I gotta fix. A stationary bike. <laughs> yeah. I just told her if you get close to the edge of the shore, usually not as much current. It's kind of like a back eddy. So you can work your way up a river on the edge most of the time. So if you're navigating a river, if you see where it's, the water is smooth, but it's rough over here, or rough over here, <clears throat> that's from the where it's shallow, where the ripples are, because it's causing friction from the sandbar. So if you stay where the water is glassy or smooth, it's usually deep enough to get through, usually. There's a bunch of deer up there on that sandbar. Three of them? of minnows and what I can tell they look like uh, the Asian carp that's why we bow fish not like it's gonna do anything but at least we're trying they're not walleye minnows that's for sure thousands of them sure that's natural that almost looks made and that feels really good too in the hand hmm.
Huge, aren't they? Yeah. It's, yeah. It's almost five, six inches. Pretty cool, aren't they? That's so cool. Tico, 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 tico. And they're a clam. So cool. <laughs> they're huge. And Got a big hand, just like Raymond. So this is a good me measuring reference. <laughs> Rock rocks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Starting to get hot now. Supposed to be a heat index today of like 110 or 115. Getting there. Ooh, big old fish over here. Well, we've decided to get just a little bit further up here, stop, take a break, and eat something, and then head back. It is brutal out. Yep, that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna try to make it to that shady spot right over there. made it. We got bottomed out. Okay. And some quick wraps with some tuna. She kept it on the ice for us so it's nice and cool. Refreshing. At least it doesn't smell like fish out here. <laughs> Appetizing. on it or just eating those on the side? Oh. Salsa sand chips. For the flavor. Structure. There you go, ma'am. Thank you. I'll be having the urban garlic. Zesty. Fresh out of the sea, several months ago. Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> Be kind of funny if you randomly stuck one little minnow. 
Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty tight group. Oh, this one's pretty. Look how purple that is. I'll bring them. Okay. Freshly eaten last night. That's cool. How purple that is. There's two of them now. Oh my god. Look at that. Yeah. Wow. Raccoons will come down and pull them out of the water and eat them. All right, well, we got our little lunch. Let's start heading back. It's really hot out. Yeah, I think we're on year two of the seat redo um, stable. Very, I have to really try hard to flip this thing. So everybody's wanting to know how the stability was of it. Now that I put the seat in, but I don't even know if I could flip it on purpose actually. So there you go. Bueno. Well, that's about it for this one. Did you have fun? Yeah. Accounts. We're back in amongst the river folk, so we're gonna be packing up and heading out. Hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button if you liked it. Share it if you did. We'll talk to you later. We're back ferry, and that's what it's called. If you aim your nose upstream, and then you can back ferry right into the. <laughs> Land ho! Will you pull me up? Yeah. Brace yourself, don't get a hemorrhoid. That ain't going nowhere. Hey folks, back at the shop, cleaned up, uh, did a little more research on the artifact I found. Definitely an artifact. I reached out to Donnie Dust, and uh, we believe it's probably a, like a handhold mortar for mixing whatever medicinal purposes, but more than likely what they call a nutter, and you put a nut like a black walnut, which makes sense. There's tons of black walnuts along the river. And then you crack it and then you don't lose your meat and you can separate the shell and the meat separate and it's got like the little finger grooves there where it's been you know hundreds of years probably used maybe passed down generations so it's very cool very tooled out smooth uh very very much made by man so not the rock but the tool so there you go thanks for watching